and all space is now. That means everything that ever was physical and everything that is physical and everything that will be physical already exists in one form or another. Hard to fathom, but let's keep going. Okay. While experienced in a time sequence. So time and space are all now, but us as human beings in this physical world, we experience a timeline. We're always shifting in time left to right, past, present, future. It's, it's always shifting, 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 next week, next month, next year, 10 years, century, you know, whatever it is, it's always shifting. We as human beings experience a time shift. That's what he's saying, a time sequence. Even though we're experiencing that, actually it coexists in an infinite and eternal now. Remember subconscious can't tell the difference between what's present, what's past, what's future. That's what we're talking about. The universe is subconscious mind. That's what, that's what you are. That's the essential part of you, okay? All time and all space is happening now, okay? Hopefully you can at least understand the concept. How, how do we know how, what time, all time and all space feels like right now? Well, we just have to be in this moment and realize that when I shut my eyes, I can think in images about the past, the present, the future, and I can feel emotion even though those things are not happening. That therefore means your mind cannot comprehend the difference between past, present, and future. It's all now. Okay. So hopefully that makes sense so far. I'm going to go through one paragraph, then we're going to do a little check-in. Okay, so I'm going to finish this paragraph up. In other words, all that you ever have been, all that you ever have been in your entire life, say you're 50 years old, all the 50 years you've been born, or ever will be, so if you're going to live to 100 the next 50 years, all of it. In fact, all that mankind ever has or ever will be. All of history, thousands and millions of years of history, past, present, future, exists now. That is what is meant by creation. And the statement that creation is finished means that nothing is ever to be created. It's only to be manifested. Whew. This should give you immense faith. I'm going to explain all this why. Okay. Nothing is ever to be created. It is only to be manifested. Your goal has already been done. It's done. It's already done. Okay. Ask and you receive immediately. Instantaneously, it is done. It's already in spiritual plane created. It's a spiritual blueprint now. It's like a builder building a house. He draws out the uh, blueprints and the things, designs. That doesn't mean he's worried about the house coming into fruition. He just knows it has to be on paper first, designed. In his mind, it's been designed. Then he puts the physical work in to create the home, create the house, whatever it is. Same thing goes for all of our goals, including mine, yours, Bob Proctor's. It's already done on the spiritual plane. It's already designed. It is a possible future for you to have that thing. We are putting in the work to bring that into physical fruition. Work doesn't mean physical labor. Okay. It's being manifested. What is called creativeness is only becoming aware of what already is. That's why if you think about a painter, right? The painter just goes sometimes in a zone. Some of you are way more experienced than me painting. I don't have a lot of experience painting, but you understand the concept of a painter or a writer or somebody in a very creative state, just completely doing it for hours and hours and getting in such a flow state, it just keeps pumping out, right? How's that person being in so creative? They're in state of already what exists, comes out. You simply become aware of increasing portions of that already of that which already exists. Very important. Let me grab the little pointer here. You simply become aware of increasing portions of that which already exists. You're becoming aware of your power. You're becoming aware of that this world is abundant. It is prosperous. You're becoming aware of success. You're becoming aware of business. You're becoming aware of knowledge. You're becoming aware of the laws of the universe. You're becoming aware of how to do what you want to do. It already is there. Our consciousness is rising for awareness. It's, it's, we're becoming, we're opening up, if you will. 
The fact that you can never be anything that you are not already or experiencing anything that already existing explains the experience of having an acute feeling, move my little icons here, feeling of having heard before what is being said. Maybe you got that feeling when you're listening to me reading this chapter. Or having met before the person being met for the first time, or having seen before a place or thing being seen for the first time. Think about deja vu. That's kind of what he's, the feeling of that is what he's talking about. Okay, just a quick check in before we go to the next paragraph. Everyone makes sense so far? Everything kind of clicking? 